Hello everybody. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel today. So what I'm going to be doing is my monthly budget and something that I didn't, I haven't done before like at all is a monthly budget closeout. Now, when this video comes out, it'll be before my last cash stuffing of the month. But um, because I get paid before that money comes out, I've already budgeted that money and I know where it's going so I know how to close out my budget for this month um <laughs> I know it's a little wonky but I just want to go ahead and close out my budget and just show what it looks like so what I did my budget before in like a different workbook it's different from what's on the page because I made some I made some changes off camera don't make changes without a calculator, you guys, because I made changes and I did it completely off. <laughs> it was it was completely wrong. So um, I'm looking at it now as I transfer it from my workbook to like the sheet that I made. It it just looks crazy. It looks really crazy. So I'm about to go ahead and close out my budget, and we are going to start the new budget for the next month now. For my paychecks for next month, I'm kind of unsure how they're, how things are going for my check. It's something's different. I just want to make sure I'm aware of what changed just in case something may happen in the future where I have to like make up for something, something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with closing out the budget. So what my gross pay actually was, it was actually, um, it was a little bit higher than this. So what it was, was... That was my actual pay. Um, my taxes went down as well. Like, every, every, like everything's confusing me as to why it's different. This is down as well. I got cheaper insurance um, because I didn't need the higher premium like I thought I would have. And then my net pay changed. I'll just put it under it. Alrighty, so off the bat, this is just completely different from what I had projected for the month. Um, everything with my fixed expenses stayed the same, except for this right here. For my car note, I put 628 even. It's actually 628.30. So I'm going to go ahead and put 628.30 on the side. I'm going to do some math from my actual total from this total to get my actual leftover. Alrighty, so this is what I have left. So my fixed expenses stayed the same. Nothing's changing on that. The only thing that changed with my fixed expenses was um, the leftover money because I got paid more. For my debt payoff, this changed because I was 30 cents off and that changed the total and my leftover also changed as well. So now we're going to go over here for the offering. So I dropped the offering. So instead of um, 200, I actually did 175 for this month. Um, groceries the same, eating out the same miscellaneous the same for gas i actually did my full 140 like i usually do um so let me calculate that because that's definitely going to be different all right so these two changed these stayed the same that changed that said the same i also added another sinking fund to this. Let me make those changes. Alrighty, so what you'll see in my next cash stuffing video, I I dropped this 
this stayed the same. I dropped, I dropped these two. I raised this one and I raised my dead snowball as well. And I also added a Christmas sinking fund and I see where I made a mistake in my budget. So, um, I just put 150 in my previous workbook, but that's actually supposed to be 300 because it's not bi-weekly, it's monthly. So it's actually 300. So this is actually 60 cents left. Okay. I went up on my debt snowball because I really want to pay off my debt. If you've seen my debt update video, I'm in a lot of debt and I don't like it. So I'm raising up my debt snowball. Um, but yeah, I'm going to calculate the new totals and see where I um, was at for the month of January. Y'all, I keep dropping the ball. So my debt snowball is not at 56. It actually changed to 63. It's okay. It's my first time doing a debt, um, a budget closeout. So this is all new to me. So let me go ahead and <laughs> calculate everything again. And so what my actual total for this is 538. And then that leaves us with 57 cents left over. So I changed a lot of things in my budget just based off of um, the situations that came up in um, the funds that were given to me for my paychecks. Um, for my monthly budget, I'm not sure how to how to budget it out correctly. <laughs> I will just use this as like my base for February and I will do my monthly budget off that. But this is the monthly budget closeout. This is my first time doing it and I'm glad I did it because I can see where I put my money through the month. So I'm about to go ahead and get started with my monthly budget for February. So I know it's kind of backwards, but I wanted to use the pink one first because it was pretty. But um, with February is a new month, which comes a new color for my budget sheet for this month. So for this month, I will be using blue for um, all my stuff. So let me go ahead and start filling everything out. Alrighty, so here is my budget for the next month. So these stayed the same. I made the most changes over here. So I dropped my offerings a lot. And what I did with that, I transferred that money down here to my debt snowball. So I can go ahead and get some of this debt taken off. Um, I really need to, to get this money paid off. So... Um, that's where I'm really focusing my money at now. Um, everything else generally should be the same for the month. Um, I am lowballing my beauty and my jukebox um, sinking fund, but those will be okay for the time being. And I have $3 left. I don't know what to do with those $3, so it's just going to sit there in my account for <laughs> For now until I figure out how um, I want to allocate this money because um, this could very well change because like I said in the beginning of the video I really don't know what my situation is looking like for my checks since they were different than what I expected um, them to be so this is my monthly budget for February I hope this video was helpful in some type of way and um a budget closeout can really show like you know where your money went um and how you spent it so i think that's good so yeah that's the end thank you thank you thank you so much for joining me today on my video i hope you have a great rest of your week and i will see you this upcoming tuesday for a cash stuffing don't forget to comment like and subscribe it helps me out a lot and i love to talk to you guys so with that being said, thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.